Last February's snow in Arctic air was record-breaking across Texas, with more than eight straight days of below freezing temperatures and six straight days of snowfall in many areas, including Midland and Odessa. Life changed for many, largely because of electricity shutting down. Brad Jones, the interim CEO of the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, ERCOT, says that the company's mission is to maintain reliable, affordable, and clean energy throughout the state. However, the February freeze made that a challenge. Retail electric providers and distribution providers were all saying a different message. And ERCOT had a different message. And everyone was was kind of crossing over each other and how they're trying to talk to the public. I am Tracy Scown, a local homeowner, considers herself lucky. She lost power for about nine hours at one point, while many others lost power for days. But what troubled Scown was not knowing when life would get back to normal. So we just began to try to wait it out, stay warm as best we could. We obviously had the fireplace going and stayed in here with it. But after a little while, it got really frustrating because we couldn't get some information. As ERCOT was trying to regenerate the nearly 60% grid power loss during the event, meteorologists were working tirelessly to provide weather updates during the worst conditions. Our very own chief meteorologist, Chase Menendez, worked day and night from February 12th to February 15th to make sure that viewers who could tune in could spread updates to others. So that was one of the reasons that I stuck around for so many days, making sure that I could push every single alert that was possible, every single um, you know new forecast update I wanted to push out to the people so that everybody was aware of the situation. Despite Jones stating that the public was left in a horrible position, he mentioned that ERCOT is striving to better attract and retain power generation during future crisis events. ERCOT has put together two phases to weatherize generation facilities so that equipment may be better in Insulated. We currently have applied the first phase so that we could get something in place for this winter. But we need to discover whether or not we should plan for an even more difficult winter than the one we saw. Despite this winter being mostly dry and mild in Texas, ERCOT is not taking any future chances as the company plans to implement the second phase by next winter. In the studio, I'm Ryan DePhillips, ABC Big Two News.